Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty Thursday, time for another bargain beer review. No life's mystery this week, but a dedication to everyone and anyone who has ever sent a video clip in to you being framed or just for laughs, and it's never made the showing, which meant you haven't got your £250 or your $250 because your clip just weren't funny. Anyway, up on the show today, tipping the scales at 5.2% ABV, brewed by Young's, it's their double chocolate stout. Now this set me back £1.25 English pence from supermarket Tesco here in the UK, so quite nice um, contemporary artwork, quite like the caps on there, I think they look really, really cool. Right, let's get it popped and poured and see what she is like. Good bit of hiss, lovely bit of cannon smoke on that. Um, now, quick reminder, actually we've got a, a wine glass for this one, only because I haven't done any washing up. Um, Quick reminder, to be a bargain beer on my show, you've got to cost £1.25 English pence or less for a 500ml bottle. You could be a bigger bottle, you could be a smaller bottle. However, pro rata ratioed, 125, 500ml, that's how you get a guest slot on Thursday, Thursday. Right. Um, I always say this on all of my videos, Young's, Wells, Wells and Young, Young's and Wells, Charles Wells, not sure what brand they go by at the moment, but um, they are brewed in my hometown of Bedford here in the UK. Now that pours a lovely, let's put it up to some lighting, yeah, jet black um, pour, just under a one finger of tan colour, medium to tight bubbles, um, not much carbonation as you would expect and would hope for on a, on a, uh, a beer brew of this particular uh, style. So let's, let's go for a sniff and see what we get. Dark chocolate. Maybe a little bit of like, like the top of a creme brulee. So a sort of like burnt sugar, caramel sugar. And faint bit of vanilla, I think. But the chocolate. Maybe a little bit of licorice, dinky bit of coffee or chicory, but yeah, smells extremely nice. Right, go for a taste. Cheers, everyone. Lovely mouthfeel. That's a good full body mouthfeel on that. You get that hit of chocolate as it goes down. It tastes like a stout which is exactly what you want. A um, little bit dry on, on, on the back end on the finish, um, but I'm just loving the colour on that. Look at that, doesn't that look fantastic? You know, that is going to leave a little bit of glass lacing, you know, like a bit of Hebrew writing up the side. Um, not really alcohol legs on that, but it actually tastes like what it smells like. It's called double chocolate. You do get a real oomph of chocolate as it goes down. It's not masked by, um, you know, like chicory or coffee or licorice like a lot of them are. You know, those flavours are very, very faint. On this, you do get the hit of a, well, what I believe to be a dark chocolate. Um, there's a little bit of bittering on the back end as well. And I think that comes from the chocolate um, as opposed to maybe the hops, which I am assuming in there is Fuggles. Um, not really getting anything else from the old, uh, the old hop hit, as it were. But look at that. That is everything you want for a stout. Um, ticks all the boxes in my book. I think that is very, very nice. Um, so, yeah, looks like a stout, tastes like a stout, all the right characteristics. Um, head maybe could do it a bit, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. Maybe not. Um, Thirty Thirty score out of ten for me. That is a very, very, very solid. I am going to give that a eight points. No, that's a nine out of ten. I think very, very enjoyable. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again real soon, right here, Thursday Thursday, for another bargain beer review. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be seeing you.